Where Have All the Soldiers Gone? The Transformation of Modern Europe, by James J. Sheehan is a thought-provoking exploration of the profound changes in European society, politics, and military practices in the aftermath of World War II. In a concise 620-660 word literary analysis, we will delve into the key themes and arguments presented in the book. Sheehan's central argument revolves around the demilitarization of Europe in the post-World War II era. He asserts that the cataclysmic events of the mid-20th century fundamentally reshaped the European approach to war and security, leading to a significant reduction in military forces and a reconfiguration of political and social norms. One of the most striking features of Sheehan's analysis is his emphasis on the unprecedented scale of destruction witnessed during World War II. He convincingly demonstrates how the horrors of the war, epitomized by the Holocaust and widespread devastation, created a collective trauma that left a lasting impact on the European psyche. This trauma, he argues, played a crucial role in shaping Europe's post-war trajectory. Sheehan also highlights the shift in political paradigms brought about by World War II. He discusses the decline of traditional empires and the emergence of superpowers, notably the United States and the Soviet Union, as key players on the international stage. This new global landscape forced European states to re-evaluate their military and geopolitical positions. The advent of nuclear weapons, which Sheehan examines in detail, raised the stakes of war to a level where traditional military strategies became obsolete, further incentivizing European demilitarization. The author addresses the fascinating concept of civilian power, wherein European nations, recognizing the futility of military force in the nuclear age, opted to wield influence through economic and political means. Sheehan skillfully illustrates how European countries redirected their energies toward building prosperous welfare states and supranational organizations like the European Economic Community. This emphasis on economic cooperation and diplomacy, according to Sheehan, was a strategic choice that not only contributed to peace but also greatly improved the living standards of Europeans. The author also examines the role of memory and historical narratives in shaping the post-war European mindset. He argues that a deliberate effort was made to suppress the memory of wartime horrors and replace them with narratives of victimhood and resistance. This process, he suggests, helped in the development of a more peaceful and cohesive Europe. However, Sheehan points out that this selective amnesia could sometimes hinder reconciliation and dialogue about the past, as exemplified by the memory wars among different European nations. The author discusses the significant impact of the European Integration Project, which aimed to prevent future conflicts by binding European nations together in a web of economic and political interdependence. He offers a compelling analysis of the Schuman Plan and the Treaties of Rome, highlighting their role in shaping the European Union as a force for peace and stability. Furthermore, Sheehan examines the consequences of demilitarization on the individual level. He argues that the experience of war and the subsequent shift towards civilian power transformed the very essence of European societies. A generation that had witnessed the horrors of World War II was determined to build a more peaceful world for their children. The book underscores how the trauma of war fostered a sense of responsibility and a commitment to preventing future conflicts. In conclusion, Where Have All the Soldiers Gone? by James J. Sheehan is a compelling analysis of the transformation of modern Europe in the wake of World War II. Sheehan effectively argues that the collective trauma of the war, the changing geopolitical landscape, and the rise of nuclear weapons led to a profound shift in European society, politics, and military practices. The book provides a nuanced understanding of how Europe, 
once the epicenter of two devastating world wars, managed to transition into an era of relative peace and prosperity. Through a well-reasoned examination of historical events, policies, and societal changes, Sheehan offers a comprehensive exploration of the demilitarization and transformation of modern Europe.